So in this video, we are going to be talking about Intel and AMD, Intel versus AMD, what Intel loses, AMD gains. So the biggest reason why it, Intel's dropped so bad in the in stock price is because Intel stock plunged 10% after data center sales dropped more than expected. Intel profits dropped more than 28%, which is huge. Revenues declined more than 4%, uh, server sales drive uh drive seven percent so that's pretty bad that they're losing seven percent in data server sales and if you scroll down further down to the article it says intel's data group which is being challenged by amd's effort in the server market saw revenue decline of seven percent to 5.9 billion while analyst expects 6.21 billion intel largest set segment client computing the traditional pc group rose one percent to 9.8 million amit surge in pc demand with analysts expecting 9.09 billion so they are gaining a little bit on the pc demand but when zen 3 architecture comes out this is going to get worse and worse for them AMD is going to steal more server market share and they're going to steal more computer sales from Intel with Z the Zen 3 architecture. Can, can I guarantee you that? Absolutely not. But there's also another, another consequence with the PC thing. Uh, because of AMD's competitiveness, Intel has to lower prices. Lowering prices means lowering gross margins. Uh, means that they are losing on their gross margins. Intel can't charge a premium like they used to because of AMD. And on top of that, AMD is also the the new Zen 3 architecture blows Intel out of the water in every single aspect. And Intel and AMD is the new king in the CPU market at least for the holiday season. Uh, a Intel might have a solution in the in 2021 with Rocket Lake but at the moment I think AMD is a strong buy in my opinion but you know we are uh, but at the end of the day I don't move the markets big money moves the market so if big money doesn't want to push up AMD stock it won't go up but I'm very bullish on AMD I think that, you know, AMD, uh, after the earnings report, I think AMD stock is going to skyrocket. And right now, I think uh, they are holding off the, the Xilinx merger until after, oh, God. Xilinx. Xilinx is not really up after hours, but I think they're holding off the Xilinx merger until after AMD's earnings. Because I think that after the earnings for AMD, I think the stock is going to get boosted to $100. And then, you know, AMD has even more leverage on Xilinx for the merger. Because AMD stock is even more valuable. So, we'll see what happens in the future, but... You know, that, I think a Xilinx uh, acquisition would even put a lot more pressure on Intel. Like, a lot more pressure on Intel. Intel would not be happy if AMD merged with Xilinx. But hey, that's just my opinion. Let's look at Intel stock right now. Uh, Intel is down $4.96. I'm so pissed off. I wish I bought some put options on Intel. I was really thinking about it too, but I didn't. I just bought call options on AMD. But... Damn, if I bought some put options, oh man, I would have been up so much money. You know, if I bought like, you know, $50 put options, oh, man, that would have been a lot of money. That would, I would have been up like a couple hundred percent at least, a couple hundred percent at least. So, or even better if I bought like put options at 49 at least, you know, 200%, 300%, but hey, whatever. That's not in reality. I think that when the market opens tomorrow, Intel is probably going to drop further. But then I think Intel stock will probably bounce back. My opinion only. But I do believe that Intel will drop below its uh, low of 47.73. I think it's going to go to like 46. 
and then it's probably going to bounce back eventually. Or you can go lower and we can see Intel at $40. We'll see what happens. Uh, but if Intel drops to $40, I think that's a huge buying opportunity. Just huge, but again, that's only my opinion, not financial advice. Uh, yeah. Uh, Zoom, like for example, Zoom, right? $148 billion. I think that AMD will be, you know, will be over $100 and they will have a, cl they will have a market cap eventually of $148 billion. Eventually, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. It seems like growth companies are getting a huge premium from, uh, from big money. And Zoom and AMD are growth companies right now. Intel is AMD is doing a lot of market share from in uh, from uh, Intel, both on the gate uh, on the consumer front and the service front. I think a lot of peop a lot of people in the service space are waiting for Zen three before they upgrade to their new architecture or their new server. And I think. Intel has a very big steep climb to catch up to AMD. Of course, they're going to do everything in their playbook to try to try to beat AMD. But right now, AMD has momentum on its side. They have an awesome architecture. Uh, Intel has, you know, Intel was not innovating uh, well enough. They're too, they're too widespread. They're, they're, they're everywhere and they're not concentrated like in uh, like AMD. Lisa, Dr. Lisa Su has done an excellent job turning around AMD's boat. I never thought I'd see the day where AMD is standing on top of Intel, a giant that has billions and billions of dollars on their balance sheet and make billions of dollars of, rev uh, of profit. Uh, AMD is standing on top of Intel, which is amazing, which is amazing. It's like David and Goliath, and Goliath is, uh, no, David is winning over Goliath. Goliath is Intel, and AMD is David, and David is beating Goliath right now. It's amazing. It's an amazing story, and I think AMD stock is going to continue to move to the upside, unless the stock market crashes, then everything goes down, but hey, I always have to say that, because there's, you know, the market hasn't crashed yet. So as long as the market hasn't crashed yet, there's always that possibility that the market could crash. So we'll see what happens. Um, uh, workhorse. Workhorse down 5 cents. Tesla is up a penny. Hylion is down 5 cents. Uh, Cineplex, I don't know why I have Cineplex up here. AMC Entertainment is up 6 cents after hours. DPHC is down 44 cents after hours. GameStop is up nine cents after hours. It's trading at fifteen dollars. Very happy with my position in GameStop. Very very happy. I have a lot of shares, and I'm very happy with how much money I'm making off GameStop right now. Spy is not as I, I would have had. Like I told you, GameStop would have made me a millionaire if I just went big into GameStop when it was trading around four dollars. I, I would have been a millionaire by now, but I didn't. I should have. There, there's opportunities all over the world, all over the place, and, you know, I, I could have made a fortune off GameStop, but I didn't, and that's my, my loss. Uh, the SPY right now is up 45 cents after hours, 0.13%. Uh, Xilinx is neutral. Intel is down. Uh, no. Not too much. Uh, Kensington Capital Acquisition Corp is neutral. Uh, Nano Dimensions is up 10 cents after hours. Solo is up 2 cents after hours. Uh, Arkimoto is up 4 cents, 1 penny after hours. Genus Brands is up, is neutral. Giga Meadows is down 4 cents today. Uh, Canadian Nickel was up six cents. FPX is just flat. ACB is down three cents. Uh, Space is up six cents after hours. Uh, CGC is up 
uh, 10 cents as the hours CGC just keeps it just keeps wanting to run up I think see I think canopy growth is overbought right now like it's probably in the RSI is probably close to the 80s no it's only 66 oh this thing still has legs to go up hmm interesting maybe I Maybe I uh, wait for a pullback and buy some car options on it because I think Canopy has momentum to keep going up. But that's just my opinion. Anyways, uh, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.